pink lipstick for a pink video. Wow, I haven't filmed that late in such a long time, it's unbelievable. But today's video is supposed to be with Benny, an update on his favorite perfumes from my collection, but clearly that's not what you're getting, because today we'll talk about pink perfumes from my collection, and I got clearly inspired by my new pink home shirt, so if pink is your favorite color, today is your day. In a pink room, we are going to talk about pink perfumes. Some of them smell pink, some not that much, and you will learn everything about them in today's video, so I sincerely hope it's going to be helpful for you. If you are still interested in that video with Benny, definitely give this one a thumbs up, and without rambling too much, because I have so many perfumes in here, I'm getting started. And I'm going in to this collection, just randomly picking one of my most favorite perfumes of all times, which is Miracle by Lincoln. Yes, that is not often to see on my channel that the fragrance is half empty or half full. Haha. <laughs> uh, but yes, Miracle is a very much loved fragrance by my mom because that was my gift to her. She wore it um, in my childhood, associated with her. This is just this clean, floral, kind type of a scent. If you have a mom and she loves fresh perfumes or just like feminine perfumes or you are looking for a classy fragrance, which is actually a bargain, Miracle by Lancome will never um, get out of style. So I will just put it on the side and... Um, go into something else because you've already heard me talking about it. Let's continue with something that is not that common on my channel. I know it doesn't look pink, but can you read the name? It's called Pretty in Pink and it is by DSH Perfumes. And the thing with this one, when you smell it, it smells freakingly pink. I don't know how Dawn did that, there is grapefruit in there, which looks pinkish. There is rose in there. There is sugar in there. It's very sweet, delicious, candy, slightly powdery, mouth-watering, not overly rosy, but gourmandish floral fragrance for all the ladies or even gentlemen who are looking for such a delicious Candy Beauty, that was the second one for today. Uh, let's continue with Le Chant de Camage by La Artisan Parfumeur, which was Benny's birthday gift to me in 2020. I was dreaming about this perfume for a long time. I absolutely adore this rice powder scent and this abstract pink design. It smells... it smells gorgeous. When I smell it, I get a feeling that everything will be better someday. Um, it's very hopeful fragrance and it smells powdery. Also, abstract of flowers in the way you can't really define what's in there. So, it's lovely and very, very light, luminous kind of fragrance. Let's continue with something similar but a bit simpler, which is Silk Blossom by Jo Malone, that was a limited edition for their Cologne range of best-selling perfumes. I like it because it smells like mate, so tea element mixed with some very delicate, fresh, fragile pink flowers. Although it looks extremely feminine, it smells unisex to me, so that's another pinky from my collection. One of my signature scents is also pink. I've already mentioned a couple of times on my channel, and I am glad to do that again. And talk about Rose New by Le Parfums de Rosine, which is a French niche brand that creates phenomenal fragrances, particularly if you love floral perfumes, you will be obsessed with them, and it's one of my absolute favorites. 
from their collection because it reminds me of uh, perfume that is so close to my heart and is unfortunately discontinued now called Love by Chloe. And if you love it for the extremely powdery scent, oh my goodness, this one, I won't say it's better, but it is at least as gorgeous as that Chloe fragrance. I love this gorgeous design. I love bottles of the this brand. I love these things uh, which give me kind of like French aristocratic royal vibes. So it's not only pretty to wear it because the scent is so amazing, but also amazing to look at. So that was another pink gem from my collection. Let's move on into another one, such as Rose Ribachi by Mason Ribachi from Paris. And this perfume is so amazing. If you love romantic, very, very juicy, but not citrusy, fruity, rather even powdery, juicy uh, perfumes. Once again, magnetic cap. This this bottle is so pretty because um, the design on it reminds me of fish skin. Probably totally random, but I still love it. The scent is great if you love fruity, very juicy, very sparkling, but you know, not citrusy, not sour uh, scents. There is rose in there, which is delicate, you know, it's not an overpowering rose right in your face. Oh, you can't even see the bottles that I'm putting on the floor right there. Oh my god, I even have this pink balloon. Can I do it this way? I'm not sure. Sure, it's not so nice, right? I don't know how, what should I do? Maybe put my lipstick under the camera? No, it should be this way, right? So I need something very slim, maybe this? Yeah, great. Alrighty, let's move on. Whew, such a relief. I'm glad that this video is gonna be one take because I am done, literally, it's so late. But I could not leave you without a video and on that note, we are moving on to Meteorite Slipper Farm by Guerlain, which is a violet lover's dream. First of all, this bottle, I mean, like, I'm obsessed with it. I keep it in my room just to look at it because I find it so pretty. If you love Guerlain's Meteorite's powder, you absolutely need this perfume that smells of fruity violets in a makeup way. I'm telling you, if you love powdery perfumes, if you love violet perfumes, if you love um, Guerlain's perfumes, this is something you should definitely get your nose on. And we are moving on to a designer pinky that is called Shades of Column by Izumiyaki. I like this bottle a lot. You might remember I've spoken about it earlier this year because in there is note of rice powder to which I dedicated one of my best offs and in it I featured uh, this and uh, this pink perfume and uh, this one is more powdery, more floral. This one smells more fresh but the vibe is very similar so yeah it looks very pink I really really love the design it's like hot pink you know not that pale and dusty so yeah oh you've probably awaited rose freak right I'm so glad that I bought it in the beginning of the year and uh, have already reviewed this Tom Ford's hit which doesn't smell pink you know among all these perfumes that look pink this one doesn't smell pink at all to me it smells rather reddish uh, there is spicy rose in there that is so strong a little bit off-putting because it's muskiness to it doesn't perform well on me personally but i totally love it for the bottle i knew that i will buy the minute i saw it and not because i'm a sucker for pink which is hard to believe. I know when you look at me in this pink room, but I'm telling you, it has never been my color. Let me know how you feel about it, but uh, something about this bottle, you know, like pale, dusty, baby pink attracted me a lot. 
and so I bought it just want to put it uh, on the floor so you can still see it and let's move on to something natural to something minimalistic that smells very lovely like a well done designer perfume from way back in the days when they were interesting and not boring like nowadays and I'm talking about Flora Poem by Miklav from their Botanique collection and has this beautiful pink um, how you call it staple uh, on it so it smells fruity it smells but like sexy fruity okay not very juicy not very fresh like sexy fruity floral uh, very easygoing uh, perfume so I don't really know what to say about it if you have any questions regarding uh, any of these feel free to ask me anything you want because I'm there to help you out, to chat with you, to, you know, maybe uh, give you more information about a certain fragrance. Because the thing is, when I am filming these videos, I am kind of um, under pressure a little bit. I don't know why, but if I said everything I want about single fragrance that I talk about, we'd be here for ages, which we don't really want because our time is precious. So I will give you the brief information about uh, each fragrance because the majority... Sarah McCartney answered. <laughs> Um, have already been reviewed by me in the past so I will put a few helpful links in the description box so please check it out and on that note Yana don't travel too much I'm moving on to Divine Dancer because I know on camera it doesn't really look pink but there is like like a hint of pinkish color to it actually it has very beautiful this is a really nice way to show you my new apartment pants um see purple okay now i'm getting really lots of messages um anna messaged me my subscriber um see this purple beautiful design divine dancer it has been my favorite perfume of the month uh check it out but it smells like watery crystalline slightly aquatic floral so it smells like if you put a pink flowers into the water or to bath with them so that's exciting oh my god i have still so many fragrances to talk about okay let's move on to rosy moseline by tsara which is one of my newest purchasings purchases because i could not leave it in the shop and i need it to own it i bought it for my pair video check out my pair video i feel like not many of you have seen it so please check it out if you like the note of pair but here i have like a brilliant fresh signature scent i'm telling you what tara does these days is absolutely mind-blowing my respect i really really like the direction of their creative director whatsoever this bottle is so pretty like literally if not niche then designer quality for sure uh bargain super inexpensive smells a little bit like rose tea so yeah with the freshness of the pear oh now i want to talk about the queen of all rosy perfumes and this is isabella by royal crown oh yes baby this is a pink queen of all of them because i'm telling you it's so like eye catching everyone who sees my collection immediately wants to smell isabella and it smells divine it smells not as you know like girly and um feminine as it looks so i do like that a lot because sometimes brands really pay attention to the outside not that much to the inside when you smell it you're like oh my god this is such a bold fragrance with unique character that um, you are willing to pay the price for it so it's slightly powdery but very like dated and sensuous fragrance with a smanthus with uh, some almost like boozy elements so i find it is unique i don't have anything like it which is phenomenal and that's for i really really love isabella 
Can you see it? I hope so. All right, let's move on to the fragrance that smells like flowers having sex, which is Poppy Soma by Parfums Quartana. I haven't spoken about it in a while and has been loved for a sniff for me with Styrex, with uh, red um, pimiento, with tuberose. It smells carnal, it smells sexy, it smells very like, ooh, I want you, I want you now and I will get it no matter what. So yeah, I do love it for that. Love it for the energy. And let's move on to something a bit less aggressive, but also very, how should I say, sensual. And that is La Baia de Jasmine by the Italian brand DFG 1924. Once again, this thing, I, ju I just love them so, so much. And it smells like the prettiest jasmine perfume I've ever smelled because it's so milky, it's so creamy. It is floral, but like on this amazing lactonic side, for which I really appreciate it because there are not many fragrances like it out there. It smells romantic, it smells like a love story in a bottle. Oh my God, you can't even believe how many fragrances are left. Let's move on to C uh, Fiori by Armani. Yes, this is just a beautiful, um, lacquer or how do you call it can you see like beautiful bottle very very pale pink smells like powdery designer floral perfume but well done one so that's it if you're a designer girl or boy and you want something pinkish that's a great smelling not only looking perfume and one of my absolute favorites you know how much i love it girl Lan, mon girl Lan intense is like Gorgeous example of Guerlain's signature powderiness because it's so heavy on the tonka, vanilla and iris. It's just irresistible, honestly. I do love it sincerely from the bottom of my heart. It is my designer signature scent and you might remember my review on Odore di Femina by Polash Perfumer that I haven't mentioned on my channel for a long time. I don't know why, because this is honestly the best musky rose with like almost like a peppery twist it's so feminine it's so recognizable in the way it is unique and mass appealing i'm telling you all the ladies out there if you're looking for a pink but like vivid pink smelling perfume you love musk and rose if those are your favorite notes this is a safe blind buy it is absolutely otherworldly the sillage of it is phenomenal it's just a great fragrance and the one i bought to wear with benny is called pivon Pritom. i don't really know how to pronounce it by mason lincoln whose line is superb i want all of those perfumes this one has like a pink touch to it it smells of peonies pink flowers reminds me of divine dancer if you love the vibe of one you will love the vibe of another so that's that oh my god i am so glad that we are almost getting to the end honeysuckle from the perfumers palette collection by sarah horowitz has like pinkish design that's why i put it into this video it smells of honeysuckle, it's a single note perfume. There are more notes that you can pink from Sarah Horowitz, which is one of my most favorite perfumers, hands down. And if you love natural perfumes, the French niche brand Fillet creates affordable, sustainable fragrances that are very easy uh, to carry with you, that are travel friendly, that smell interesting and creative this one for example that is called oh my god i don't really remember i will put it on the screen uh, smells like uh, sakura blossom it smells very silky fresh with like um uplifting energy if you need a fresh perfume but you don't like fresh perfumes like me that's it juliet has a guns mm, is not really pink but what color is it tell me it's delicious powdery gourmand perfume similar to Guerlain's fragrances i associate with it so much because i bought it when i started to go to the university 
great for cold weather because it is so warming, hugging, comforting, just just a very very mess appealing at the same time you know not repetitive not a boring fragrance for which i do do enjoy it do 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 enjoy it okay miller harris um this has been on my wish list for a long time in amsterdam i got it for a very affordable price it's not necessarily pink but like the pink vibes coming out of it right uh there are tulips in there what's what else in ink amazing notes this fragrance is a signature scent this fragrance is a spot on i've been obsessed with notes of it i um, wanted to blind buy it and i had no idea if it's worth it but now i can judge from my experience and every time i wear it for example it lasts for ages honestly it's a very long lasting perfume and it doesn't smell like all other fragrances because it smells a little bit like sour sweet and then it turns floral and dark and at the same time there is this freshness throughout it so it's it's a it's a phenomenal fragrance i love it if you're looking for a signature scent it's it can be one of them if you want something more dated and something more sexy but if you're looking for pure luxury if you're a pink lover if pink is everything to you then you absolutely need to have this box <laughs> not only the box this fragrance is oh, stunning too and it is by shanti cole it is called a darby rose and this is freakingly gorgeous this is everything this is like this highest shelf and darby rose is a crystalline fresh citrusy everyday friendly oh, luxurious garden rose type of a fragrance this cap is so so glamorous i'm telling you it's very expensive fragrance that is totally worth it you can put it on your display and your vanity you know will be glammed up okay guys three more fragrances to go i will mention this fuchsia one by le parfums de rosine from which we also had uh the beautiful rose new this one is about patchouli and pink pepper oh yes if you like pink patchouli by Sven Pritzkalite, um, it has a similar vibe and that fragrance is like, it smells very pink too and it was my first love that I've spoken here on my channel. Till this day that fragrance is unbeatable, pink patchouli by Sven Pritzkalite is it's a killer and yeah, it, it is a little bit similar to it and look at this beautiful bottle. Doo -doo -doo yeah so that's that i want to mention versace's bright crystal because you know it's pink bottle justifies it to be in this video <laughs> you know what i'm doing with it it's late i'm kind of like you know like that um uh, this perfume <sighs> memories all the memories with this perfume i've already shared them with you it's a signature scent because signature scent should be recognizable unique creative and mess appealing i think or at least like characterful it has it all i love it fresh bright floral but not like all the other fragrances it goes into the direction of divine dancer and uh, the lancome one but like with its unique watery twist i i'm a big big fan although when my best friend and my where should i put it my cousin wore it uh in the sixth grade i was like done with it but now i'm in love the final fragrance i don't know if it's pink or not you tell me but i love wild child by opus oils because this patchouli baby is award winner number 13 is a lucky number 
it smells like milky, juicy, fresh patchouli in a hippie style. It's like a patchouli lover's um, guilty pleasure. All right, guys, I can't believe it, but we are done with the pink selection. I know it's not that huge when you look at it right now, but I wanted to share it with you. And please let me know in the comments which other colors you want me to do. Last year I did red, which is one of my most favorite colors. So do let me know which you want me to discuss in the next video. Who knows when that comes. Hopefully you will like this one. We'll give it thumbs up. Please do. Please subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time and comment below. Comment your request because there are days like today, although I had a plan to film with Benny and once again that video will be released someday, but sometimes I don't really know what to film. Like I have a schedule for the whole month and there are some spare days, so yeah, always leave your feedback in the comments because I love to hear from you. I try to respond to all of you because sincerely guys, you matter so much to me. The time that you spend here and I know this video is long, but let's actually count how many fragrances we spoke about today. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28. I'm like very bad at math. So uh, maybe if you count it more or less, uh, please correct me in the comments. And that was all from me for today. Please stay tuned for tomorrow's video for the one after it and I do plan to post something this weekend. So you guys, there are so many great videos coming up your way. I hope that on this channel you are entertained, you're getting great energy. I'm so thankful for all of you and once again, don't be shy. Tell me anything you want in the comments. Your support is so highly appreciated by me and on that note, I need to end this video, to edit, to go into my bed, fall asleep and wake up early to work. So wish me luck and we'll see each other in my next one really soon. Bye. And I've just got a message from Anna, my subscriber, whose favorite color is pink. And yesterday, well, this day I'm filming this video, is her birthday. So happy birthday, Anna. This video was for you. I hope you got lots of new pink perfumes for your wish list. And I know you bought Divine Dancer with which you're happy. And I'm very glad about that. By the way, guys, if you bought any perfumes that I recommended, please let me know in the comments how you feel about them.